Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Aid. My name is RJ. Right, this is an update video from the one that I've just posted up. So I've spent another couple of hours with um, P3D version 4. Here you go, and you can see um, in all its glory, um, HDR. Looks pretty nice. Um, okay, so a few things I've been tweaking around with this, and I've figured out how you can max out the GPU to be 100%. Now it seems to be, so the trees work really nicely. Um, they change the way that um, that, they're, that they're viewed. From, so viewed from a distance, there's a lot less detail on them, so it keeps um, keeps everything running nice and smooth. And when you get a bit closer, um, there's a lot more detail suddenly starts to appear. Um, the textures, I managed to get the load rate up on that. Now you need to go into the settings basically, and just ma start maxing everything out um, on the, um, uh, let me just go into here. Go into the graphics settings. So I'll show you. So basically, I've just maxed everything out because I I started playing around with their VR with P3D's version of their VR, um, and it says when you put it in uh, on there, it's to basically turn everything off, turn the all um, um, FX AA off and the AA, and basically turn everything right down, and it automatically by default turns the HDR off, um, which is a bit of a shame. Um, because when you turn it off, it looks a bit cartoon. Like all the colours are ridiculously oversaturated. So I need to look into that and see if there's a way of turning down the saturation without the HDR. So basically, I've turned all these up because in in the VR mode, it was just unviewable. You looked at everything; it just everything was all jaggedy, and it was it was really horrible to the eye. So I just slowly kept bumping it up, bumping it up, bumping it up. I noticed that it wasn't changing my FPS at all. There was hardly any difference in my FPS. So, which was a bit puzzling. Turn the texture filtering up, which helps a lot with the um, with the texture radius. So I've got much better um, uh, uh, fill rates now on my textures, and the ground looks it looks pretty good. So it's all loading up really well. Um, just, uh, this was all off, and then just slowly kept bumping up until basically. Um, put it to flat out um, as I said this is on a Titan um, XP um, but what I have found out so you can mess around with all the other sort of settings I haven't really changed this much di uh, different but what I have found is what really stuffs up your FPS is the buildings and the building density so I've put that down to none although it's still showing a lot of buildings every time I turn towards a highly dense populated area in my non-custom scenery and I'll show you here so if we go back to let's put this back up here you can see I've got 40 50 FPS so that's over my custom scenery so if I turn towards the non-custom scenery so this is going towards Birmingham City suddenly watch the FPS suddenly plummet okay so we're down there into the 20s 27s and I've turned that down a lot. 21. So you can see it's buildings that is absolutely stuffing your FPS. So that's all the autogen buildings. So it's not trees, not vegetation. So if I turn back around again, uh, come on, around you go, around you go. You can see here. So if you can get rid of your buildings, so it depends where you're flying, obviously. I mean, if you want to fly through cities, that's what you're going to be. We're back up into the 50s again. Um, and if I just pause there and we go into into this, you can see here where I've been messing around. I've got a GPU load of 100%. So um, yeah, so you can max out your GPU, but if your CPU then suddenly starts having to figure out loads of buildings and and stuff like that it's just um yeah it's not going to work so there we go you can max out your gpu so uh, it'll be interesting to see what a uh, two xps would look like or with an up-and-coming um nvidia card what that's going to look like um of course uh, what have we got on there no nothing really to show on there so you know afterburner so i've i bumped this up uh, duh, 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 duh. hang on i'm on stock speed there Let's put that onto that profile. 
and there we go. We've got about an extra 10 12 percent FPS. So I'm back into the 60s there, uh, like that. It does look really pretty, it has to be said. The HDR is really nice, I really like it. The clouds are much better as well. Um, the precipitation and the volumes of the clouds are really, really good. Hang on a second. Let's just jump back into this so you can see the GPU load history. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the, um, the clouds are really, really good. You don't, they don't seem to rotate as bad as they used to in VR. Um, and the VR, it looks okay. It looks better than it did in version 3, but there is still no way that I've found yet of being able to alter your seating position and be able to click on items. Um, so there's just still a hell of a lot of work to um, to get through on the VR side of things. So but there we go. I thought I'd share this with you. So it seems to be that it's mostly buildings um, in P3D that um, that are really hampering um, the FPS there. And I managed to get some hundred uh, percent load ratings out of it. Um, so there we go. So I have a mess around um, as I go through this a bit more and find any more um, revelations on how to tweak this I will post up some more videos so hope that's been of um, help to somebody out there uh, any tips for anybody if anybody else has got any um, comments they'd like to put uh, below to help us all out then uh, please do so and um, I will see you on the next video thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time okay bye